to Sailor Moon World. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ochi and today we are going to unbox the Proplicas of Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune transformation lip rods. We're also going to be putting batteries in them today and giving them a go and seeing how they sound and how they work. I have never ever opened these yet so we are going to be doing that together and I'm really really excited. Let's get started. So down here we have the box of Sailor Neptune Transformation Lip Rod. I'll try you sh to show this box as best as I can. As you can see, it um, the box has a lot of gold foil on it, and you know, it's really pretty. Here is the top of the box. And the side of the box here with the promotional images. The bottom of the box. That's Sailor Neptunes. And then here is Sailor Uranus. The side of her box. Aren't you guys excited? <laughs> I know I am. And the other side of the box, again showing the promotional images uh, we saw when they first announced these. And just the back of the box, super boring, just um, has a lot of text on it. Uh, these two are the international versions, which just means these were uh, made for the international market um, outside of Japan. So they will have these uh, warning stickers here um, in English, since the box is all in Japanese. I do also have the uh, these two back here behind me are the um, original Japanese ones so they do not have those stickers on the back and in fact I'll, I'll kind of show you um, a comparison just real quick with the Sailor Uranus one so here is the international one over here to my left and the original Japanese one to my right you can see that they have the gold toy sticker over here and the warning stickers are not on this one. The international one has the silver toy sticker. And those are really the only differences in those two is just the box. So you are totally fine getting the international version. In fact, I recommend it because it's a lot cheaper for the same product. And if you would like to buy these from the same place I bought them from, which was is Amazon, I will include those links in the description below. We're gonna start with Sailor Neptune first. The top of the box has just a little tape seal that we're, I'm going to slice with a box cutter. Uh, it's also on the top and bottom. I'm just gonna slice the top. Some collectors prefer to slice the bottom so you know you keep the top one sealed. But today we're just gonna slice the top since I have my Japanese one sent in box. Okay, so I have it sliced open and we are gonna pull this gorgeous thing out of the box. Looky here, we have some instruction manuals. Empty box, we'll set it to the side. Alrighty, so, oh shoot, it was even upside down. Okay, so here's how they come packaged and I'll show you up here as well. Um, they're in a blister packaging and they usually do a really good job of protecting the paint and the coating that is on these by encasing it in some sort of um, protective plastic so it doesn't scratch the paint. And let's see, sometimes these are taped but it is not taped this time so we should be able to just pop it out. And we'll just set all of this to the side. So here it is. And here are the instructions. Well, I'll take, I'll open these up. We'll take a look at them in just a second, especially since I may need them because y'all saw how I opened up Gash Bond. Oh, look, so it just comes out like, like that. And then you, oh, oh my gosh, you guys holding what I have never held one of these yet. Not even the original vintage ones. So, oh, wow. There's the back. And these are one-to-one -one scale, um, which means they are life-size replicas. So she does it like, or something like that. <laughs> Neptune, planet power, make up. Okay, so we have that one out. And I guess here's her base. We'll go ahead and get all the pieces out. 
Okay, I'm pulling out the manual now. We had to get out that handy dandy box cutter for the manual. It was not wanting to budge. So here is the manual. It's about yay big and it's like a bifold thing. You can get all the way out. Oh. Wow. So no English, um, which I didn't expect but that's okay. And here it looks to be some instructions how to assemble the stand and how to put the batteries in, which we'll talk about the batteries in just a second. I, I will tell you what kind of batteries they do take and, and where to get them. Maybe. Okay, let's take a look at the stand here. They usually do, on these proplicas, they usually always do a little bit of accents of something. And it looks like this is just sparkles, uh, unlike some of the other Sailor Moon ones. Okay, so we're going to open up and put in the battery. So it looks like you lift up part of her, the rings. Okay, so it just pops off like that. And then we have inside, it looks like... Oh, we have a tab. I wonder if they have batteries in it already. Okay, so it looks like because we pulled out that tab, it already has batteries in it. So we are going, if you move the little, this little uh, switch to the B side. It makes that sound. This is lighting up up here. Wow, that was long. That is so cool. So let's see what the um the A switch does. So we'll go ahead and volume. Can you can you hear that it's louder? Here it is right here. The single O is to turn up the volume and the double circles or double O's to turn down the volume and that's what this is over here. Awesome. So I'm going to keep it on the louder volume so we can play around with it here. So that button that I pressed was this button right here on the side uh, for her to say all of that. And then there's also two buttons over here on the side. This is the first, second, third. Okay, so this button, the first button on the side over here on the left side of the lip rod makes three different accent sounds. And then we have um, a button right directly underneath it. And do you guys hear that? Interesting, this does not light up during the theme music. It did uh, during her her speech. Oh. Love the 90s anime. The music was so freaking good. Don't you guys agree? Okay, so it does say that it has transformation mode, character voice sound mode, transformation mode without voice. Okay, so those are the three different sounds that it makes on the top switch here. And then the second switch is just to play three patterns of background music. And then over here is her, oh, it's an activation switch. So, oh, we'll set her on her stand. 
So the dual pieces that look like this that come with the rod is for different ways for you to display it on the stand. You can either have it like this where it faces front or we can get it out of here and then pop in the other pop in the other piece and they should just pull right out. Pop this back in and then it can sit on its side for you to display it this way. Just make sure that you see these grooves on the side here so it doesn't like if you bump your shelf or anything you can snap it in place so it is not going to fall out of there. It is pretty secure um, if you make sure to snap it in place with the grooves. That is Sailor Neptune's lip rod next to Sailor Uranus. Okay, so now we're gonna open up Sailor Uranus and the same thing as Sailor Neptune. I'm just going to slit the little piece on top here and we are opening up Sailor Uranus. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, I love Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus. Haruka and Michiru, um, I have major crushes on them both. I'm a straight woman, but they question, they make me question it all the time. <laughs> Their love is just so powerful. I love that they're so jealous of each other at all times and they kind of banter around and play games with each other. They are relationship goals. <laughs> okay, so here is Sailor Uranus in the box. Same exact way Sailor Neptune was. So we are just going to open it up. Holy moly, look at, look at the cup. Oh. I forgot, Sailor Neptune's kind of fell off on the last one, but this covers up the little mirror, which the mirror is very skewed. <laughs> Super skewed, like, look at that. Ooh, it's like we're in a freaking fun house with all the crazy mirrors. I don't, I don't think I like that. I wish, I really wish they would have just done a regular flat mirror. I'm just gonna get out the pieces of her stand. Okay, so since we had Sailor Neptune's instructional booklet open, I don't think I'm going to open up this one. It's I'm pretty sure it's the exact same inside, so we're just going to keep it. I don't want to mess with it right now. So since we opened up Neptune, I assume that the uh, Sailor Uranus opens at the seam as well. Pops off like that. I would like to point out that I was wrong. They do not require batteries straight from the box. They actually come with batteries. So all you gotta do is pull this little tab right here. You don't even have to buy batteries. Batteries are included. So we pull the tab out and we go ahead and turn it, since I like it louder, we are going to turn it right here to the A. Okay, so since we were talking about the batteries on how it already came with it. I did not know if they did or not, so I went ahead and, and bought some batteries because of what it said right here. It says that it requires three LR44 button batteries. So it says it requires it. However, it says included batteries are for demonstration purposes only. So I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know if it was going to not work or what. So we went ahead and bought batteries. And if you ever need to uh, replace the batteries, uh, these are the ones that you can buy. They're the Energizer 357 and I will link to these in the description so you can see. Because um, like I showed you on the box back here how it says the LR44 times three of them. Here they're not called LR44, they're called the 357s. So, and on the back here you can see that it replaces all of these including the LR44 which is the ones they require. So just in case your batteries end up dying, these are the ones that they'll take. And again, link to those in the description below. So here it is sideways again. So remember they can either snap in with it front facing like this with the stand on the side, or you can pop that son of a piece off. <laughs> laughing at my own joke. And, or you can display it like here. Don't forget to snap it in. Did they have a picture? Yes, they did have a picture on how you can display them like this. And I do think I will want to display them this way. Okay, so now that I pull the tab, we will play some of the sounds that she makes. So we'll go ahead and do the first mode, which when you just press, oops, we just press this. Activates that mode. And then we can press this, I believe three times or one time first, and then we'll press it. OK, 
Okay, and then I'll go ahead and press this mode button again. Here we go with the theme song again. Woo! So here they are. Displayed how they show on the box which is right here so we are done assembling uranus and neptune's transformation lip rod proplicas they are super gorgeous i love them i highly recommend them if you want to buy these today look at the links down below in my description for the amazon links i actually bought these from amazon these are i just got these in the mail a couple of days ago so if you're interested in that if you like this video today please make sure to check out the other videos on my channel as i do a lot of other unboxings and unwrapping and opening items for the very first time and you can see me struggle with them i would really appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed to my channel because more videos are coming soon bye